Hello folks, it's Phil. It's time for the No Damn Choice Workout. Unfortunately, on the first, I came home and I crashed out for a long night's sleep. And I went right past my 12 o'clock. So I didn't do it on the first. But this is now at 6.11 on uh, Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. And we're going to do that. I'm going to try to start doing this earlier in the afternoon so I don't get tempted because it's real easy to get tempted if you let it go late and you get tired or you get sleepy to skip it and I just can't skip this. I, I'm very blessed by God to have this workout so that my body works and so I can have a, a job and it pays dividends. It paid dividends today. We have a, a a piece of furniture in my business called we call it a credenza and it's a uh, it's a narrow cabinet that goes against the wall it usually sits behind a desk sometimes it has what we call a hutch on top of it but there was one that was uh, 24 deep this is a little bit weird because it's a little bit deeper they this person wanted to use their credenza like a desk so our purchasing manager ordered one that was 24 inches deep Normally they're like 20 or 18 inches deep by 72 inches wide. But I picked that sucker up uh, in the box, no problem, and didn't hurt. I got it on the dolly, rolled it in our truck, and got it situated for tomorrow to be delivered tomorrow. If I didn't do this workout, if I didn't take care of myself, uh, and I didn't do what God told me to do here, we would have a problem. So. I don't want to have a problem. I want to be healthy and I want to live a long time. And part of that's taking a fast. And as I've said on this channel before, and thanks to the young lady who it was who said it, I'm going to go back through my comments. It was probably about eight months ago, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. But this young lady said, I do a fast at the beginning of every month. And I do it for seven days. That way I don't forget it. And I'm always ready to do what I got to do. And so, that's what I did. It was yesterday I started my fast. I started my fast actually, uh, well, Manchester was Monday, so Sunday night actually I didn't eat. Uh, I don't think I ate after like 8 o'clock on Sunday. So Monday, all of Monday, no food, uh, no food today. Now I am, I am definitely drinking. Uh, some juices. I am uh, I'm trying to stay away from the sugar but um, I'm drinking a lot of water. There's this stuff called vitamin water that if you if you look at the sweetener they use stevia in their no sugar stuff which I don't uh, I don't drink their no I don't I always if I'm gonna drink a, a sweetened product I usually drink the sugar one because I just don't trust you know we know what sugar is okay we know when we get too much of it we know that if something's ridiculously sweet um, we know that it's a problem now if you have an artificial sweetener you don't know what the level is there and it has a tendency to be bitter but vitamin water was pretty good I got some uh, stevia sweetened vitamin water and uh, and it was really good I got I also got some uh, vitamin water energy drink which has caffeine in it which is not really recommended but I needed to pick me up on the way home so I got that and it was really delicious uh, that was on sale at Wawa two for four dollars um, but I am drinking sugared some sugared liquids I'm not trying to go crazy with it but I'm definitely balancing out my energy level with some sugar of some kind I'm, uh, drinking the uh, hot chocolate which is very good for my stomach I don't understand how that works so good but I'm, I'm you know I'm not just going water I've got I've got to work a job I've got to be safe I can't be uh, passing out on the job uh, so but I am fasting I am not eating solid foods and as it always does when I fast I feel better I feel better right now heading into the second day of this um, my neck doesn't hurt as much as it as it usually does 
Uh, I think it's thyroid. Uh, and I feel better. Um, vision's better, concentration's better, energy level's better. Um, and that's just from a day and a half of fasting. So, I run in my mouth here, but I want to get that message out that you need to fast. You need to put that in your rotation. And if, if you find yourself getting loopy, and really, you know, get you some fruit juice or get you whatever sweetened liquid you choose but try to go easy on it you know um, it's also important to understand that if you're drinking stuff that uh, has a lot of milk in it or has you know a lot of other stuff you can actually make yourself a meal from liquid so you gotta be careful about that you, know, you want to stay with the spirit of the of the fast which is nothing solid going down your throat, you know. So, but so far two days okay, doing okay. Um, liking my job, liking being back at work, but it's actually forcing me to go to sleep now because before I was staying up 24 hours a day and then passing out at like six in the morning to about one in the afternoon and getting up and doing it again, watching YouTube videos because there's a billion, I, my brain has a has a million subjects it likes to investigate, and YouTube has probably 10 billion videos of all kinds of things. So there's never a point where you run out of new content to view. And uh, this whole thing going on with the political situation in the world, I've pretty much walked away from that because I can't watch that crap. You know. Well, you know, we all believe what we believe, we'll vote what we believe, and we should respect each other. You know, no matter how you vote, you should respect each other. That we, as Americans, we have the right to vote for who we want to vote for. And there's no reason to be arguing about that. There's no reason to be ugly or mean or this or that. The people making the bad decisions aren't the voters. The people making the bad decisions are the people who got into office. So... Um, you got to get them out of office or you know if you like what they're doing you vote for them. but I'm not going to argue with anybody out here about that I don't even talk about that as soon as that subject comes up I go I don't talk about that um, I'm just not going to do it you know? I'm just not going to fight that battle because it's not it's not worth getting the police called it's not worth getting into an ar argument or altercation it's not worth uh, you know somebody losing their mind and doing something that Maybe life changing. It's not worth all that. You know? Not with the person on the street. You know? The person on the street's just like you. You know? So make. Get all the information you need to get. Get it all in your head how you want to vote and vote how you want to vote. But go ahead and vote. I would please ask you to vote on voting day. Don't vote in advance. Go to the polls on voting day. Don't vote in advance. Don't put that incredibly important vote in an envelope. Go to where you vote and vote at the voting place. And I'm talking to Democrats, Republicans, Independents, anybody who's going to vote. Go vote at the poll on election day. Don't let people tell you to put stuff in an envelope and to trust them. Go to that poll and make your vote count. You know, and I, I'm talking about Democrats, and I'm talking about Republicans, I'm talking about everybody, independents too. So anyway, that's my end of my spiel, but look, as usual, as usual, what happens? Every time, every time, look, 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 every time, I see what's up in the window, I know, little poopy, I see you little poops, let me bring your shoes over, she got to have her shoes, here we go. Here's your shoes, honey. Here you go. You can rub your shoes. Little poops. This is little poops. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna squeeze the crutch out of it. Yes, I will. How are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Well, this ain't getting 
getting my exercises done. Love you too, miss. I do, I love you too. Yes, I do, I love you too. Little monster. It's my own little furry monster. My little monster. I'm gonna stick with me. Stick with me. <laughs> yes. What a mess. Alright, I gotta get this done. I keep dragging my ass. It's 6.30 already. And we're going to get in this situation, and I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to let it go by, and, and it won't get done. It's got to get done. This is the no-damn-choice workout for a reason. Because I don't have any choice. There's no choice about falling apart. It just isn't. Love you, little miss. All right, here we go. You want to do some workout with me? Please don't kick my face on me. Individual knee lifts, 20. Crunch 20.
great sit-ups. push-ups. people because there are people who work 30 years in a row went to work worked 14 16 hours came home ate a meal passed out saw their wife saw their kids saw their husband made a meal got them fed passed out and did it again for 30 years one day he realized it's been 10 years since they've been on the floor. And they find out the bad way because they hooked their foot in something and they fall over and they find out, damn it, I can't get up off the floor. It's not a joke, it's not funny. If it's been 10 years since you've been all the way down on the floor, check yourself out. See if you can get up off that floor by yourself. And if you can't, start doing some exercises, okay? Thank you. All right. Stomach tension is 20. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, uh, hip thrust, low and slow, 20. Watch out for your knees. 20.
5.5 pound weights. Wrist curls, 20. Inside curls, 20. Standard curls, 20. Double straight ups, 20. Individual standard curls, 20. Individual straight ups, 20. Flying curls, 20. That ends the no damn choice workout. I do two more exercises with 20 pound weights in each hand. 10 standard curls and 10 double straight ups. Thank you, Lord, for helping me. Thank you for giving me the drive to do this. Give me knowledge to have this to help my body. Please always be in my life. One I miss, I love you. When I write this down in my book, I'm going to say my prayers. Please find an exercise program that works for you to do it every day. Please don't drink Diet Coke or Diet Pepsi. The aspartame in them is poison. Please don't drink sucralose, which is in a lot of energy drinks that is also poison. Both of these chemicals are highly addictive. They're there just for that reason. 
They make things sweet, but they should have never been approved for human consumption. Both aspartame and splenic sucralose will make any depression you're suffering much worse. Please, if you have any kind of mental illness, look on the food ingredients list of everything you buy, and if you see aspartame or splenic sucralose, simply don't buy it. Nobody you love deserves to be poisoned. That is it. And I think a cat's coming. <laughs> I think my knucklehead is coming. What are you doing? You're not allowed in here. Look, look. Look at this mess. She thinks she owns this place. Look at her. Well, she actually does own this place, doesn't she? Yes, she does. That's my knucklehead. What are you doing, knucklehead? Mm -hmm. She always comes in after and before. I don't know why. But that's okay. I don't mind. I actually think sometimes she hears this music come on and she kind of is trying to uh, encourage me to get off my ass and go get it done, you know? Good. If you get over here, I'm going to squeeze you. Don't let me squeeze you. I'm going to squeeze you. What are you doing? What are you smelling? <laughs> Alright folks, I've ran you too long. I know I ran you too long. I'm sorry. It's got to be at least a half hour. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, we didn't win that billion dollars. Now it's 1.25 billion dollars. It's 6.39 p.m. on uh, Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023. And the bill is paid. I'm going to leave you with this knucklehead down here. Playing with her shoe. And y'all have a wonderful Thursday. God bless you. And please find some joy tomorrow and spread it around. God bless you folks.